I, um, I do several social action activities, and I was at a conference several years ago at which uh, Buddhist traditions were uh, the main uh, context for the discussions. In that process, a uh, question came up whether out of Buddhist tradition a sense of hope is appropriate. And there was a long discussion about that in the context of uh, form and form getting in the way of um, seeing exactly what one is about. And so I was asking to contrast the idea of hope versus the idea of expectation. So when we expect something, we are bound to be disappointed. And disappointment is suffering. And when we don't expect anything, we don't get disappointed. And we remove that source of suffering. So that's why we teach do not expect a lot when you're engaged in some kind of work. So when you actually you know, give charity, for example, or say, do not expect any sense of uh, return, any sense of praise. So when you gift charity, when you give without a sense of expectation in return, then you don't cause suffering. So that's why in Buddhist tradition, that's called giving without creating an image or form. Same thing when you actually like somebody. We develop a sense of entitlement. We, we think that because I like you, you should like me. But if the, you know, if the feelings are not reciprocated, we get disappointed. So liking somebody becomes a source of suffering. So we don't teach never like somebody. Because it's my freedom, my right to like somebody. But what we say, you can't demand or expect the other person to also like you. So when we, feel it, when we develop a sense of entitlement or expectation, we cause disappointment. In that sense, hope is a form of expectation. You know, we all expect something. But what we teach is to not allow yourself to get too attached to that expectation. Say, I want to do something. And there are two types. One is a sense of desire. You're driven by a desire to do something. The other one is aspiration. And what's the difference between the two? And the, so when you suffer disappointment, uh, when something you desire did not happen, that is uh, desire that rises, that came out of desire. But if you don't suffer disappointment, even though what you wanted to happen didn't happen, so we can call that aspiration. So if, if we want something, we put in the effort. So, and when that doesn't come about the way you want it, then you kind of investigate, you look back, you course correct, and you try again. And if you fail again, then you course correct again. And in that process, there's no suffering. You know, there's a failures, but you also increase your capacity, your resilience. And that pathway is leading to an aspiration. So a practitioner aspires.
아, 그래서 점점 능력도 커집니다. That also increases our capacity. 아, 그러나 우리가 욕망을 가질 때는 어떠냐? Then what happens when you desire something? 자기가 원하는 대로 안 되면 실망을 하게 됩니다. When you desire something, you get disappointed when that something you desire does not come about. 아, 그리고 절망을 하게 되고요. And we despair. 왜 그럴까? Why? 그는 그에 따른 그만한 노력을 하지 않고 쉽게 얻으려고 합니다. And beneath that is actually our desire to get something without putting in the requisite effort. 어, 그렇기 때문에 뭔가를 원하는 것이 원인이 아니라 어, 적은 노력을 하고 쉽게 결과를 얻으려고 하는 데서 생긴 일입니다. So the suffering doesn't come from the fact of the desire itself. It comes from our, this, uh, our want to get something without putting in the right amount of effort. 어, 희망이 불교적이냐 아니냐가 아니라 So it's not hope that's you know, Buddhist or not. Uh, 그만한, uh, 때는, uh, so hope can be said to be Buddhist when you actually are willing to put in the effort to get what you want. But if you want those results in an easy result without putting in the effort, then that's desire. Same thing with enlightenment. So enlightenment is an aspiration when you're willing to put in the effort, the practice to get there. But if you despair or get disappointed because you are not there, you're not enlightened as quickly as you want, then you know it came out of desire. 추가적인 질문을 하십시오. Do you have any follow-up comments or questions?